Okay, so welcome to this video on how to add a licensing entitlement to your licensing service. So why might you want to actually do this? Well, maybe you're expanding your configuration and you want to add more virtual machines into your configuration and you want to add some licenses to your DLS to accommodate that. Uh, maybe you didn't allocate all of your licenses first time around and you're maybe doing some experimentation and now you want to add the entirety of your entitlement to the license server. Another common thing is uh, maybe you're using subscription based licensing and your licenses are just about to run out or maybe they have just run out. Uh, maybe you've bought some new licenses to extend your subscription and you now need to install them onto your license server. Well, I'm going to show you how. So as you can see from the screen at the moment, um, I'm showing you the screen of a DLS or a delegated licensing service. So this is the on-prem version of our license server. And at the moment, if we go into server features, we'll actually see we've got some RTX virtual workstation licenses on here. Now this would be exactly the same whether we were running a VDI infrastructure with RTX virtual workstation or virtual PC, or if you're running NVIDIA AI Enterprise for AI workloads, your licenses would appear in this DLS as well. So as you can see, the expiry has already happened for these licenses. Now this is over a year ago, as you can see. So this is just an example, but essentially this is now gonna be giving us problems. Our virtual machines aren't going to be able to renew leases and they're not going to be able to take advantage of all the full functionality of the GPUs that have been passed through to them or uh, the profiles that have been passed through to them using virtual GPU. So how does this look like at the workstation side? Okay, so here we have a Windows machine and this machine is connected to my licensing service and it's configured with a, a GPU profile. So if I now simulate a reboot by restarting the NVIDIA display container process, what we'll see is what's going to happen now that we have a, a failed license. So as you can see here, um, we're just using snake tail just to look at the uh, the last few lines in the log file here. You can see here, um, not a valid grid license found, uh, performance will be restricted, uh, no conditions found. So as we already know, you know this license is, is no longer valid, so we're gonna be getting messages like this. As a matter of interest, if we wanna look inside that file a little bit further in the future, the place where this particular log file is, is under um, the users directory, under public and NVIDIA logging, okay, so users NVIDIA logging. That's the log file to look for, for these type of um, things. Now, obviously we've got a client configuration token. We don't need to touch that. That's gonna work just fine after we've added our licenses. So let's just leave this going. Now, if we look at a Linux virtual machine, okay, so here's a Linux virtual machine. And what I'm going to do is exactly the same thing. I'm gonna restart the NVIDIA grid service and show you what happens in the log file. Again, you can see exactly the same in the uh, var log syslog file. Um, it's failed to acquire a license. So let's go ahead and add some licenses to our DLS and see how that affects things. Okay, so now we're inside the NVIDIA licensing portal online and you'll have an email address and a password which will give you access to this environment. Um, if we go to list servers here, I've just uh, used a filter to, to see my London servers. You'll see I've got a, a cloud-based licensing server here and I've got the license server that I was showing you just now, my London DLS LB. So if I click on that, you'll see again, if I go into server features, that license has now expired. So let's go ahead and add um, a new entitlement to this. Now, just to check what entitlements we have, let's go across into entitlements. I've now filtered on active entitlements and you can see we've got a, a whole number of entitlements here waiting for us to allocate to a server. Okay, so let's go ahead and add one of those entitlements to this server. Click here, go to server features. We can see there's the entitlement that is expired. Go to actions and hit manage features. Now at this point, if we've got um, additional licenses left on our entitlement, that we already have, we can add them here. In this case, we're actually adding a brand new entitlement. So we're going to go in here, choose RTX Virtual Workstation, which is the product we're using. And I'm gonna give this, say for instance, an, another 10 licenses within here. I'm going to hit update server, and we're going to see, we've, we've now got a nice license 
that we can use until January 2025. So we've got a whole year more or less uh, to use this license now. Now, if I wasn't using an on-prem license server and I was using the CLS or cloud-based licensing service, all I'd need to do at this point would be to go in just like we did for the DLS, go to server features, add a new feature, and I'd be away. In order to do that, I would just need to disable the server temporarily, which would open up the option to add new features, manage features, add new features there, and then when I'd finished, I would just enable it. And that is enough. All I need to do is re-enable that server and my licenses would just happen. Because I'm actually using an on-prem license server, which isn't connected in any way to this portal, what I am going to need to do now is just take the license that I've added to my DLS and copy it down to my DLS on-prem. So again, I'm going to go into look at the licensing information, come here and hit download. And this is going to download a binary file that I can install on my DLS. And here's the binary file that it's, it's copied. All I need to do is now take that and install it onto my DLS. Now to add this license to the DLS, all we need to do is come back to the local console here on my DLS and choose this option here, update server from NLP, so NVIDIA licensing portal. Okay, select that license file, like so. It's gonna show me that it recognizes it and I just hit install server update. And now we can see our new license has been applied to our licensing service. Now at this point, you might need to restart your services on your virtual machines. So let's go into the Windows machine, just see what happens. As you can see, we're still getting errors here. Now this machine might still doggedly try to get this old expired license. So the best thing to do is to reboot the machine or just restart the NVIDIA Display Container LS service. All you'll see is that in a few seconds, it'll say license acquired successfully, okay? And there we go, it takes a few seconds to come through, but it's now saying license acquired successfully from local store. If we just wanna check that, we can also now go into control panel with GPU 16, and you'll see here that your system is now licensed for RTX virtual workstation. And it says expiring here, that means the lease is expiring in a day's time. Of course, if we now go to our Linux VM, if we restart the NVIDIA Grid D service or reboot the machine, you'll see that the license has now been picked up. Now, another thing to point out is, of course, we've still got our old expired license on our DLS. Now, it shouldn't cause any problems from having this expired license here, it just won't use it. But if we want to be tidy, we can actually return this to the pool so that it no longer appears on our DLS as well. Let me show you how. So now before we return this license to the licensing pool, I just want to point out that if you're using standard network licensing mode, so at the moment you can see I'm using advanced, if you're using standard, you won't see the license pools or fulfillment conditions noted at all in here. That's because we've kept the UI really, really simple. If you're in advanced mode, then you will have license pools and fulfillment conditions here. So if you want to remove this from the DLS and you're in the standard mode, you just need to disable it and, and remove it from the server features here. If you are in advanced mode now, you need to go into the license pools first and deallocate it from the license pool before you can then return the features. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So let's go into our licensing pool and we'll see here that we've actually got this entitlement here that has expired. Now, what we want to do is we want to remove this first from the license pool. In order to do that, we need to manage features. But as you can see here, the UI is keeping us honest and it's really saying like, you can't do that because you're currently serving licenses. So let's just disable this pool. Once we've disabled the pool, it will give us the ability to remove those licenses. So again, let's go to actions. And again, we can go to manage features. And in this particular case, we can choose which of these we want to remove. Now we're going to remove the expired ones and I know that there are these licenses here. Okay, and we're gonna update the pool. Now that the pool's updated, we can obviously enable that pool and continue to serve licenses. If we now go to the server features, we'll see that we can now remove those. So if we go to actions, again, in order to manage features, we just need to disable the server for a few seconds. 
and you can see we can now remove this licensing entitlement that has expired from here too. Okay, so that looks good. So what that's done in the background is it's generated a, um, a certain thing. So if we go into maintenance here, we'll see that it's, it's actually generated a feature return request. Okay, so we can now return those features to the licensing portal. Now, this could be useful if you were just moving licenses off and they were still valid and you wanted to move them to another licensing service. In this case, it doesn't really matter, but let's just go through the process just so that you can see how the feature return happens. So now what we need to do is just go to the export feature returns and this is going to download a file for us so that we can add it into the portal. So you can see here this has just been allocated for us or just been created for us on premise feature return. Next thing we need to do is go into the portal and return this feature. Obviously before we do that let's just go into our dashboard and re-enable our licensing service so that licenses are being allocated to our virtual machines. Okay, back in the licensing portal online, we go back to our DLS, our London DLS in this case, go to actions and hit return features. Now all we need to do is select that feature return that we created just now. Hit return features. What will happen is that feature has now been fully returned to the, our entitlements. It could be used elsewhere if it's still valid or in this case it really doesn't matter because it's expired anyway. If we go to server features for this license server we'll see now all we have is our nice shiny new um, 2025 expiring license and everything's nice and tidy. Okay so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.